Hey guys, Abdur Sion here from EnderTechBlackspot.com right now with Galaxy Nexus and I'm gonna show you how to root this phone and all the Galaxy Nexus version means Sprint, Ryzen or GSM does not matter what uh, OS version you're running so it does not matter if you're running Ice Cream Sandwich or Jelly Bean if it's 4.1, 4.2 4.0 does not matter. So let's go ahead and get to the process. First of all, I'm gonna go see show you that I'm running 4.2 as you can see it here. JOP 40C and these are my applications. As you can see, I don't have any super user, super SU anything, just a stack. So right now I'm going to turn off my phone, shut down, put that aside, oops that was vibrate, and go to your computer. You're going to download what's in description below and the file name is going to be gnexus root, that's the file name, that's the something for Mac. And these are the files that's going to be inside, make sure there are 9 files because you need 9 in there unless you don't need sprint or Verizon recoveries I have two sets of recovery for every single version one is CWM re regular and CWM touch if you want TWRP recovery you can flash t that just download it from their website I really use CWM all the time so I have CWM right now and uh, you can also go to Google Manager after you rooted your phone and install it from there too. So once you download that, unzip it. This is what's gonna, what this is what you're gonna have. Then you can go ahead and go to search in that corner up there. Oops, right there. Kind of weird angle, and search for terminal, which is right here for me sitting in dock open that up let me zoom in so you can see it better okay here I'm gonna go ahead and put my phone into uh, bootloader mode by holding all three buttons and as you can see it's in bootloader mode I'm gonna show you but my bootloader is locked as you can see right there in fast boot mode right now we are in so then you can connect USB cable to your computer and to your phone once that is done let's go ahead and go back to your computer and we're gonna type in CD Oops cd space desktop because that's where I have my folder which you saw if you have it in download make sure you put cd download or which your folder you have it in then we're gonna type cd space g nexus nexus root type whatever name it appears for your folder then cd space that forward slash fast boot slash mac space oem space on lock lock oh there is no cd i'm sorry it's that and forward slash fast boot slash mac oem on LOCK. This is where your bootloader is going to be unlocked. So on your phone, this is what you're going to see. And it's, as you can say, as it says right there, you may avoid your warranty. Press volume up, and you'll be right there. Don't worry about it. You can lock your bootloader the same way. Uh, that for slash fast boot slash uh, desk. Mac OEM lock which will lock your bootloader and you will be into warranty again one of the best reason to get Galaxy Nexus press power button 
and now you have unlocked bootloader as you can see it says in red right there you can see once that is done let's go ahead and go back to computer and here we're gonna type fastboot oops dot forward slash fastboot mac flash space recovery R E C O V E R Y. Yes, I'm hoping I'm spelling it right. But then you can select which recovery you want from here, and uh, right click it, and do, go to Get Info. That's where you're gonna find the whole name. I want GSM Touch Recovery. I'm gonna go there, Get Info. And as you can see right here, I have the whole name of the recovery there. So I'm gonna go ahead and write the name it's GSM yes CWM yes DOCH yes 6.0.1.5 yes M-A-G-U-R-O dot I-M-G this is the lat latest recovery then after that you're done that press enter sending recovery okay writing recovery okay so now your phone just flashed recovery go back to your phone and here press volume down again recovery mode press power and your phone will have unlock button right there it's because you just unlocked bootloader and as you can see that's your regular CWM here press reboot system now and it will reboot the system now keep in mind this will boot twice your phone will boot twice because this after you uh, finish unlocking bootloader phone usually which twice if it doesn't don't worry about it it's still normal let's go ahead and go back to computer now here you're going to go ahead and transfer this file that's super SU to your phone and I forgot to mention but unless you haven't noticed this is for Mac I thought I don't need, need to mention but you know I just realized that I should mention for some people who doesn't realize it this is Mac and for Windows it's the same thing I'll make another video for Windows and I'll have a video on how to unroot it too so your phone will take time to boot up As you can see, I'm just gonna wait it with you guys. And there you go, that's how it's gonna be. You're gonna have to start again. And skip all those and you probably figure out that everything is going to be raised now none of your contacts are there pictures are there anything and uh, as you probably read it up there because I forgot to mention that too I know it's really my fault I apologize for that but I forgot to mention that you should back up your Galaxy S3 because once you unlock bootloader it erases all your 16 gigabyte of storage so once you are done you can go ahead and connect to your computer and transfer the file
if your uh, Mac transfer doesn't work, what you can do is uh, do wireless transfer. So as you can see, my Mac transfer does not work. I'm gonna do wireless tra wireless transfer by using AirDroid which is really good applications I have review on that if you don't know how to use it go ahead and watch that and transfer it so let me go ahead and transfer the files and I'll be back hey guys as you can see the AirDroid applications which I used to transfer my super user or super SU which one it was in my phone now we are going to power off your phone again so until now we have clock home recovery installed and now we are going to root it press all three buttons at the same time power up power down, I mean volume up volume down and power button and you'll be right here press volume down volume down recovery mode press power and you'll be put into recovery and volume down power 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 and there you go again if you don't see it there it is volume up power yes install install done now if you get install aborted try again as many times as it takes to say install from SD card complete go back and now reboot system which will reboot your phone again we just rooted GSM Galaxy Nexus or you just rooted your Sprint or Verizon or whichever kind Galaxy Nexus you got by following this process I'm just gonna show you the proof that the phone is rooted I would like th thumbs up for this proof never asked but why not there is already system update let me download uh, touching the backup before that you can see super su right here continue installation 68 let me go ahead and install touching the backup As you can see it's installing. I'm just gonna open it up right away. And there you go. It's asking for super SU permission. Granted. All done. Press OK. Another OK. Another OK another okay and there you go root access okay busy box 1.18.4 titanium from root from app I'm sorry so you just root here your galaxy nexus GSM version again feel free to subscribe like my videos check out my blog like on like me on Facebook and I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching guys